How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here and today is going to be a classic cartoon uh, unboxing and this is going to be on another series that uh, we grew up uh, watching. Uh, remember seeing uh, advertisers for uh, you know all the toys and different uh, footage of it and stuff and we did have a few of them. Um, I think a couple we still have and that is Transformers. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. And this is gonna be on G1 itself, the first generation of Transformers. So, and we have a couple different uh, editions of it. So first up we have Transformers, more than meets the eye. And this is part of the, uh, I think this is during the 25 year, uh, or 25 year anniversary of the series. Really nice uh, thin pack uh, set. So this is uh, season one. And on the back here you have the story details. And you get some screenshots. Now this is part of a uh, Shout Factory uh, line of uh, releases. And here are the bonus features. So you get like original broadcast. That might be kind of hard to see because it's red and stuff. Blue on red. Okay. So you get uh, toy commercials, uh, printable script, rare PSAs, and then archival uh, Hasbro uh, toy commercials. So other stuff. And then here is the spine here. So Shell Factory um, apparently got the license and they released, I think, every single series. Uh, besides just uh, G1 itself and then here's like a little advertisement. Yes, they did have uh, G.I. Joe as well And I want to say they gave that a Really nice box set also Transformers did as well. It, it was called the uh, I believe the matrix of leadership set And these are like comics and stuff And here are the thin packs Okay, so First you get like a little booklet, and then see Optimus on the front, and there's Megatron on the back, and then this will give you like details about what's on uh, the first disc, and things like that. Little descriptions about each episode, which is really cool. So Transformers, uh, just absolute classic cartoon. Uh, remember uh, when this came out. I want to say this was another kind of Saturday morning cartoon or I think it bounced around uh, from when it uh, played and it was just amazing. Just absolutely fun. Alright so here's the first case with disc one and two and on the back it'll give you the uh, episodes and stuff. So there's uh, Jazz on the back and then here are the disc so the numbers per disc uh, does continue on from each set so you have one two three four three and four in the next set then five and six in the next one and yeah and the back just has or excuse me does have artwork see the Autobot and Decepticon symbols yeah so this is definitely a uh, old classic show uh, played all the time and it did bounce around from I think channel to channel eventually and then um, there were other series that came out after this uh, of course you have the this this uh, excuse me this has all the bonus features sorry about that get a little tongue tied and there you see sound wave sound wave sounds cool very robotic <laughs> And here's the disc, bonus features, really cool. And okay, so that is set number one. And we'll get that booklet back in there. So nice and simple. And then uh, here is uh, season two, volume one. So yeah, unfortunately they did kind of break them apart a bit and the fronts of these sets are embossed. I think I forgot to show the first one. Yeah, you can see them. 
You see Devastator taking on the Dinobots. I believe that's Slag and Grimlock. And here is he back. So yeah, Transformers, uh, you follow this, um, uh, you start out on a planet called uh, Cybertron, and you follow the Autobots, who are pretty much the good guys for the series. Um, and, you know, they're having this battle. Uh, there's Starscream. And, oh, who is that? Is that Chaz? Ah, I can't quite remember. Uh, looks familiar. And eventually they escape Cybertron in a ship called the Ark, if I remember correctly. And, uh, you know, they crash and they've been in what's called a stasis lock. Kind of like just being like hibernation. And then eventually they wake up. And pretty much the war makes its way to Earth. And yes, they crashed on Earth and I believe it was during like uh, caveman times in a way. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. So they were in stasis for, uh, I believe, quite a long time. And then eventually they wake up and then, you know, the war continues. Okay, so these are just one and two for, uh, I forgot it does that. So one and two, because these are in parts. Um, and then, you know, you just follow it from there. You know, they meet some uh, uh, humans on the way. Uh, there's Spike, there's... Uh, uh, I believe Spike's the son, and then the father is Sparkplug. And then the, there's some other humans. There's this doctor guy named uh, Dr. Arkaville, works with Starscream. And just a whole bunch of different stuff happens, <laughs> but it's uh, just really fun. And yes, do we have the. Um, live action films and any of the other series uh yes we do uh i want to say we have most of the other cartoon series that came out and then for the live action films i think we have all of them yeah and uh right off the bat let me know if you guys have seen uh transformers uh whether it be the original g1 right here or any of the other series and let me know in the comments below what you guys think be interested to hear your guys' thoughts. And also about the uh, live action films. Let me know what you guys think of those. And including the, uh, I think it was a spinoff, uh, Bumblebee. Because you have like the main series of films and then you have a, uh, like its own solo kind of movie. Alright. It's not a booklet. And all these I found uh, second hand. All intact. Uh, cause I think you can still get these on Amazon and I believe on Shout Factory's website. I want to say they're still on there. Oop. Turn. There we go. There's Optimus and Bumblebee. Uh, Optimus played by, uh, uh, Peter Collin. Awesome, awesome job. And then you have, uh, Frank Welker who voiced the infamous Megatron but they each did multiple voices I mean the voice work in this show is just so well done it's really really good with like the way they sound you know some sound very you know they all kind of sound more robotic because they are robots and then you have some that have high high pitch voices some that have deeper voices and it just works it's just really cool and you have some, so you have vehicles, you have jets, you have a camera, <laughs> you have construction vehicles that combine into one, you have the Dinobots, you have, uh, you know, uh, like alien type ships. And here is season three and four. So the last two were all of season two. And there's the Hot Rod holding the... Uh, Matrix of Leadership. There's Unicron's head floating around because <laughs> this is after the uh, movie. And then there's Galvatron on the bottom. And I believe that's Swoop and. No, 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 not Swoop. Uh, Scourge and. Oh man, is it Cyclonus? I think it's Cyclonus. And here are the uh, 
story details. So season four is very, very short. It's only like, oh, what is it? Just a few episodes. I think it's less than 10 episodes. I think, uh, I, man, I think it's only hmm, three episodes. Yeah, it's three. Uh, yeah, because unfortunately some things happened uh, with this show. You know, there's there's an infamous story where, where excuse me, a certain episode aired with a very kind of deep, um, I think it had like a political message to it. And someone, I forget who it was, I think it was one of the writers or somebody, uh, really did not agree with that and left or something like that. It was something political or it had some kind of weird message in it. Um, cause you will get some episodes that are kind of, you know, like, you know, public service announcements in a way, you know, um, but yeah, there's a bunch of stories to this, you know, if you can find any documentaries about Transformers, I'd say check them out. I've seen, uh, uh, at least a couple and yeah, you get some pretty infamous background stuff with this show you definitely have a lot of animation errors <laughs> that is pretty infamous with this series in general too but that's just part of the fun uh, music classic opening theme uh ending is cool uh you know and the theme changes per season and uh you know the animations that you see uh you know really good quality and as far as this goes on a dvd this is really good there are these old sets called the Rhino box sets, which unfortunately I think they're not too good because I think some of the sound effects got messed up or I think some of the footage is missing. So just be aware. I would definitely do your research if you're going to try and find out, uh, you know, which set or yeah, which uh, box sets you want to get for uh, Generation 1 because I believe, excuse me, I believe there's quite a few. <clears throat> All right, so that does it for the individual sets for uh, G1. So this is one way you can get all of it. And then the uh, next way, here, I'll do this. You see the classic Transformers logo right there. And the next way that you could get it, so I wanna say that um, the, this was released after, excuse me, the original sets, or it might have come out at the same time, and that is this. The complete box set with exactly the same thin packs that uh, come in this, these uh, individual sets. So it's the exact same thing, just all in one uh, thin pack set. This I also found used. Now, I, I believe you could still get this on Amazon. I don't know about Shout Factory. Um, their site, I've mostly seen this on Amazon. The price kind of bounces around from about, um, say, 50 to maybe $55 around there. It's usually about 50 bucks. Um, I have seen it for, I think, what was it? Like 45 I think, at one time if you got it on sale. So, yeah, like here's a retrospective feature. I forgot that's on there uh, from the files of Teletran 2, Art Galleries, more PSA. So, all on that. So, this is the 15 DVD set. And then here's the spine here. All right. And then. Last up, I thought I'd go ahead and throw this in as a uh, bonus. Now, I did do a video where I showed the original Transformers movie, uh, the, the original animated film, and I did have the regular Blu-ray and the other DVD versions of it, but uh, this I wanted to show, with, and that is the still book, because I didn't have this. I only had the uh, a regular one. It's nice and shiny. It's got this real like glossy kind of look. There's the Optimus and Hot Rod. And here is the spine. All right, and then here's the back till all are one. And this movie was amazing and it still is to this day. And uh, I got this used and it still had the uh, little paper. So limited edition 30th anniversary uh, steelbook. And then here's the back. 
And then here are the bonus features. You get an all new documentary, uh, audio commentary, featurette, storyboards, trailers, TV spots. And this has a new uh, 4K transfer with new bonus features like the documentary and stuff. And boy, does this movie look great. It looks amazing. Uh, props to the people who worked on this. Uh, you know, this must have been, I would think, a really fun project to do, to work on. And man, it shows. So you get two versions. So you get the full frame, which is this disc here. And I believe that's the original. And then you have the widescreen version, which takes up pretty much the whole screen. Yeah. Yeah, I want to say the full frame is its uh, original uh, uh, aspect ratio. Then here's the inside of it. The Autobot and Decepticon symbols. Look really cool. All right, so then let's go ahead and do this. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and display these guys. So let's go ahead and do, um, let's see. Now I'm trying to think. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Oops. Now we'll put these on the side. Get this over a bit. All right, there we are. All look good. Okay, so that does it for all of G1. These, uh, ooh, excuse me. It's, it's actually gotten hot today. Finally got done with the rain. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, finally uh, all of G1 uh, picked these up a while back the uh, uh, box set and the individual sets uh, Now originally I found the um, The individual ones and then I found the box set later I thought why not go ahead and get it because I can give one of these to uh, or I, I did give one of these to my brothers That way they can have it and watch it and the movie Just as good. It's amazing uh, the TV series, uh, you know, just classic cartoon. Uh, let me know if you guys had any of the toys or currently have any of them, <laughs> whether it be the classic ones or newer ones. Uh, we do have Unicron. We do. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see that. I'll be happy to show that because uh, he's still in the box. <laughs> I have opened him up, but uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, so Transformers, awesome cartoon, music's good, story's pretty good, but the movie, uh, the movie's pretty dark. Um, you know, uh, they do a lot of uh, things where they pretty much just move on to like newer characters and by getting rid of some old ones and moving on to new ones. Uh, you do have the, uh, yeah, story's good, uh, thrills, mystery, you know, action's awesome transformation into all different or transforming into all different kinds of vehicles and animals <laughs> and yeah so with that like the video if you do subscribe if you like and have you seen any of transformers feel free to let me know and i'll see you guys next time